Incoming transmission. On to assembly stage 21. Add that in. Funny, there we go. Okay, we have EM. Nice big metal plate. Some wiring. That's the back component for our second power module, phaser strip. And some mechanisms there for power module. Okay, so the video cut out a little bit there, I do apologize. But I just continued with the rest of the unpack and we're on to stage 21. So we've been asked to get our stage 19 uh, skeleton and our battery pack from stage 20, which we have here. And we're essentially gonna be putting it in like so, just on our two points here. So I'm gonna get my screwdriver there and we need BM screws. So we shall commence with that. So I'm just gonna slightly thread it first. I think at this stage, I probably have about two hours worth a footage recorded already. Um, okay, so we have our base in place there, which is good. And two. So we're looking good on that. Perfect. So we're putting this to one side. Now we're moving on to our surface plate and our phaser strip. So we're gonna put this over here for one moment and we are needing CP screws. So we need three of these. It'll be interesting to see what the join across the phaser array is gonna be like. Okay. Nice and neat. And then we have our transporter emitter sticker. So we'll take that to one side. And place this in. That went in pretty smoothly. And windows and escape pods. Yay. <laughs> okay. So we're going to orientate these with our red facing down. And red facing down. And windows. So not too many in this round. So we have two clear ones on the inner side. Okay. Woo. Right. Okay. So that's step B almost. So we have to position the deck panel. Yeah, we're going to be positioning the deck panel onto our substructure again, or skeleton frame. So let me get that stage set up for us. Okay. We're back over here. And all of these windows are going to align along this way. And we're going to need to run some lights in here as well. So we're going to be flipping this over and kind of going to balance it a little bit. It is very much spaghetti junction back here right now. But I have complete faith that this will all work out. <laughs> as long as I follow the instructions. Okay. So, okay, we need to, don't know why we have, this needs to go under here by the looks of it. And we have our mounting plates. I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna position this more centrally here cause I'm not thinking of you for now. <laughs> um, Okay, so 
for the most part, that's pretty much aligned. Now, we need BM screws. So the BM screws to secure the windows temporarily. Uh, okay, so this is gonna be secured in the hatches and stuff like that as well. So we're gonna need one initially. For this section here. Okay, we're in place. So that's our temporary guide for now. And we're gonna be moving over to section C for windows and all that kind of jazz it looks like. So that window, that light that we moved there a second ago, we're just gonna place that under here. I'm just gonna position this so I can actually see it myself a little bit too. So you kind of need to push it down a little bit to kind of wedge that one in there. And we need uh, more wiring then for this other section over here. Just underneath this bar here, again, for cable management, we're gonna take the black and yellow one. I know it's not the most ideal view. And that's in place here, and that leaves one just hanging out over here as well, which is fine. And we're actually gonna be, if I'm gonna split this up just a little bit more, this needs to be tucked in just under here. So we've just placed these two lights over here. And we're gonna take our EM screws along here. And this is gonna secure the back end plate onto the hull panel. Make sure those lights don't go anywhere. I know I've probably said this over the previous two hours of this build. That this has been a challenge for me anyway. Doable, but it really gets you thinking. And I suppose, like, I think I said early on as well, like, my biggest fear was always, like, the electronics and stuff like that as well. When you're kind of working on that. Um, we're going to test the lighting now. So the lighting for this section is this wire and this wire. And you know what? We'll test this wire as well. So these two are cable managed. So I'll just keep a hold on these and we flip this over. All right, that's so much better. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna test our lighting. Okay. So let's go build a bike. Uh, okay. Three seaters, and you know, I don't know what this lead is for, but we're gonna put this one in there because it does say to connect like four. Okay, do you know what? That was actually the right wire as well. <laughs> so we have illumination here and here. And uh, yeah, all is working well. All of the escape hatches are well aligned. That one actually be a bit more secure. This one can be a little bit more pushed out, so I'll probably just adjust these two here. But everything else is looking pretty rosy. That's section C. So we're moving on to section 22's parts, which is the last set of parts. As we continue our build. Windows, wiring. PCP screws, a new PCB board, 
stocking clamps. More intricate wiring. It's kind of got a little bit of a hub. Escape hatch. And plastic paneling and some BM screws. So here are docking hatches. Not docking hatches, they're the, the saucer clamps. So let me get these parts all set up. Okay. Section A. We're looking at our paneling and the joys of escape hatches. So again, just gonna make sure that our red marking is facing down. And uh, yeah, the joys of windows. So, nice call out in the magazine to kind of suggest using tweezers. <laughs> I was a little slow to the, the game. But uh, I picked up like this kind of uh, arts and crafts hobby set on Ikea, not Ikea, on Amazon. Um, came with like a pad and stuff like that as well. But I liked the tweezers and the hobby knife. Okay, so we get our plate and we flip that over and we get one of our one of our wires Actually two two of our wires Which is fine, so I'm gonna put this to one side for a second and They're both the kind of same we're gonna keep them with the, the black and yellow And there's a little little tab just here that kind of sits in on the kind of uh, on the inside here just to make sure that these don't go anywhere which is cool okay so they're the only ones that we need to address for now oops I'm gonna move this plate over just for a moment or right, one of our windows window lights fell out for a second so i'm just going to push that in we're going to flip this over and that's going to fall in just here and we're going to need some bp screws we're going to be placing this on <laughs> the substructure so that's going to be our next part so we have two bp screws fitted in there we have our wiring fitted in um and we have some kind of component pieces here as well so let's get our saucer section back shall we so this is going to be going in here so we're going to need to flip this over so but it asks us to kind of thread our wires in first so we're kind of going under this area here which is just one back and one over and we're being asked to thread this one uh, under here, which is fine. And I think, like it's not saying to, for this one to go under just yet, but I'll get the bulk of it down anyway. So we have our wiring. Let me just tidy this up ever so slightly. We have our wiring routed according to what we're supposed to. And surely this has to come through here. I'm going to assume that it does. And We'll see what happens then. Okay, so that's going in pretty easily. It's lining up pretty well, I'm happy with that. So we're gonna need uh, some DP screws. Okay, we've got traction. I'm just applying a little bit of pressure with my hand. Okay, so we have that wiring harness that wiring harness in place 
and yeah I think that's good I think that's good for us so we're on to section C and this is where we get our clamps into place G H I and J so I goes over here J goes over here with the notch facing out and G with the notch facing in and J with the notch facing in so then recover your battle section skeleton placing on top of the panels so that the four docking notches fit into the matching gaps in the skeleton so these guys should fit in like so and they match in here and they match in here okay right so we're on that one so bm screws that's one two three four five six oh so actually wasn't those areas Okay, so we're going to flip this around here, and we are going to make sure that our switch is over here. Now we get our PCB board that we got, and make sure it's in this orientation here, and that is going to fit in, it's going to fit in just like that, and that's where our FM screws. Two FM screws and two BM screws. So the FM are the ones on the back. And again, there's one orientation for this as well, so handy enough to fit. So then we get our wiring loom, this one. And that's gonna fit into this section here. and head off this way just like that and we actually took them under here under this section here so they come out like that okay and there's our docking hatches Right, we're going to be getting the back of our saucer section now, or our drive star drive section even, and we're going to be fitting this in. So, I'm not concerned with these guys here um, yet, just these two sets of wires. This one, and this one. So we're going to feed them in here. Man. The inside of this is going to... So full of wires, oh my god. And feed that one in here. Okay. And then it's telling us what to do with the rest. <laughs> okay. So let me study the diagram here for a second. So our impulse is going to drop down and tuck in just down here on the star drive. Okay. And then these guys, just behind and beneath the shuttle base, they are going to tuck in in the top section here. Like so. And then I can start fitting this into place by feeding down the wires. Okay. Just want to make sure that the wires are kind of out of the place here for us for a second. Right. So we're going to start to fit some of these screws in. 
So this is where our CP screws come into place. And we need to initially fit three of them. The alignment is kind of tricky. I will say that. Especially with all the wires, but we get to tidy these up now for a second. Okay. So, right, <laughs> get my head around this for a second. Uh, okay, so that's there. And we have these components. This is all from the star drive section. Ah, okay, and we get to kind of tuck some bits and bobs in as well. Okay, so 14D, which is this one here. This is the impulse section. That's gonna go in there. I'll tidy up where I can. Um, 11D is in place, so that's fine. Um, this one was, what was this one here? Well, they all just need to kind of go along the back, run. Okay, and we'll do some tidying as we go. All right, so that's that one. And then So we have four, okay. As I said, this is the part that's kind of like freaks me out. And I'm determined to take my time. Okay. So that's that one there and that's these guys over here. Okay. Remember I said I was determined to take my time. <laughs> this is where it begins. Okay. So it's saying to use this as a bit of a a feeder, which no, no problem. I will do that. I'm just going to use my tweezers. I'm just very conscious of uh, the integrity of the wires. So actually, I'm going to take that one out first. I'm going to put this one in first. Actually, these two I'm going to put in first. Do 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 do. This is where the tweezers are coming in very handy. Okay, I don't know how much neater I can make that, to be honest with you. And we shall do a Approximately the same if I can with this one. And the second one here as well. Um, and that's as neat as I can make that myself. Okay. Okay. 
we're looking at our battery module here then as well. So we're gonna remove the battery cover. So we have, uh, oops, that wasn't great. Uh, so we need to put in battery one, battery two, battery three, and we need the battery cover, original battery cover. Okay, that's in situ and that's in place there okay we flip this back around and we wire up our switch oh look oh, oh. this is cool and the switch works oh. I'm so happy look at the lights oh so cool <laughs> And that's our build. <laughs> right, I'm gonna tidy up this little part here and then we'll do a wrap up. Right, okay, <laughs> there we go. I just tweaked some of the panels here. It wasn't actually that hard to do. And I just tightened up uh, this area here. Um, still a little bit of a gap there, but I'm sure that that'll all tighten in to place. And it's looking, oh, so my God, it's looking so awesome. Um, so we did a lot of work on the back of the neck of the star drive. That's all illuminated. We have batteries in behind the magnetic uh, battle bridge. And there's a switch. We applied a huge amount of panels. I just put this in place to kind of get a sense of the saucer section as well. It's looking fairly awesome. And uh, yeah, that was a pretty intense build but still within my realms of doability. A lot of cable management and kind of tweaking around there as well. A lot of window placements and just kind of lining up here as well. But there's still a few bits that are kind of not li lined up here. But if I move them into place, they're fine. And I'm sure when with the outer ring and all those components are coming in and the bottom side of the saucer skeletons in there as well, we should be uh, fairly okay. But uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by for issue number six. Big shout out to Hero Collector sending this over. Gives me an opportunity to tackle this uh, build <laughs> in all its beautiful glory. Huge. And uh, that's all possible down to you amazing folks as well. So thanks for sharing, liking and subscribing to the channel. If you like the content and want to partake with the build along, do check out all the description boxes for the playlist as well as other uh, Hero Collector model reviews and other sci-fi uh, goodies that I've uh, reviewed over the last number of years. Uh, thanks to the Patreon supporters as well. Links in the doobly-doo down below that are supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You folks rock. And also you can check out the merch store as well where you can get up uh, some cool sci-fi Star Trek and even Irish Trekkie swag that directly supports the channel as well. And uh, yeah, get some cool threads out of it. Anyway, thanks for taking the time out of your day to stop by and check out the video. Uh, I've been your local Irish trek. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay sane where possible. And uh, hang on. Do I do the switch? Doop. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Look at the lights are blinking. So cool. Have a good one. Take it easy.